Capital insiders say the authors of a Wisconsin global warming bill will be meeting with special interest groups this week to talk about how to get the bill passed. Critics of that bill say it would devastate Wisconsin's economy. The MacGyver Institute spoke with Lord Christopher Moncton, an internationally known global warming skeptic. Our question to him, if Wisconsin passes a global warming bill that ends up hurting the state's economy, would that hurt the chances of a national global warming bill, or would it still give the movement a foothold on the national level? I think it's a bit of both, but let's look at the first state to try to go green, as the pathetic slogan is, in a big way, and that was California. And what California did was it said, right, we are going to have green jobs, and immediately unemployment began to rise, exactly as every economist predicted. Uh, we are going to have green technology, and immediately the wagon trains began rolling no longer westward, but back eastward again, as corporation after corporation after corporation pulled out of California, and the state is very, very close to outright bankruptcy because it has driven so much of its revenue base in the shape of major corporations out of its territory by imposing self-inflicted wounds in the shape of so-called green measures designed to address global warming. And I'm glad to say that when the first of these green measures was introduced, the first thing that happened was that three quarters of the California citrus crop, for which California has always been famous, was lost. And was it lost because of global warming? No, it was lost because of an exceptional frost. And gradually the penny is dropping, even in La La Land, that somehow the climate isn't quite responding as the bedwetters had predicted. And this failure of the climate to respond as predicted has begun to sink in quite widely, not just among ordinary people, but even among those in corporate America who had hoped to make lots of money out of the climate scam. And so California is a good example of what happens when you try to show uh, what is foolishly called leadership by closing down more of your state's economy than any other state is prepared to do. California is losing business and will eventually go bankrupt because of this policy. If Wisconsin is moronically stupid enough to go the same way, exactly the same thing will happen in Wisconsin. People will move out, businesses will move out, people will not want to be in a state which, for political reasons, finds it expedient and, of course, it hopes financially profitable to pretend to believe in the global warming scare. And what is increasingly interesting is that there had been a political polarization. The Republicans on the whole not believing in global warming, increasingly not believing in it. The Democrats believing in it. Now what's happening is that quite a lot of the Democrats are beginning not to believe in it either. And this is no longer a right-left political issue. It is a, a, an issue where the intelligent people say, no, there isn't a problem, and even if there were, trying to restrict the amount of carbon emissions we make is not going to make any difference. And then the unintelligent people saying, well, the planet is doomed and we must therefore shut down the economies of the West. They're not saying, let's shut down the economies of China, let's shut down the economy of India or Africa. No, no. It's the economies of the West they want to shut down. And why? Because, as my late and very good friend Eric Ellington, one of the founders of Greenpeace, said, Within a few years of founding Greenpeace, he and many of its original founders left because the international Marxists had taken it over and the environmental movement, Greenpeace included, has now become the new method by which Marxism imposes itself and tries to get us to shut down our economies from within without a shot being fired. Now, if it were just me saying that, you might say that sounds rather extreme. But this came from a very sensible, very level-headed, genuinely concerned environmentalist who loved this planet, wanted to make sure that we protected its environment in a sensible way, and was horrified to find that his movement, Greenpeace, had been captured by nasty, narrow political factions of the extreme Marxist left, 
who didn't care at all for the environment, didn't care at all how many people's jobs were destroyed, how many people in third world countries would starve as a result of their policies. They wanted to destroy the West and this was the way they were going to go about it.